my Tombow Mono Eraser. Not the one they were supposed to send. Don't get that wrong. They never sent me that. It's not like I like went digging through the box and found it, because I would admit that too. No. Uh, it's more like I'm an art supply hoarder, and I have a lot of stuff. All right, so they had said on the card that a sand eraser can remove, can erase um, color pencil. And let's see if I can get it on camera. It does. See, that's the area. That's where I erased. And it does that by removing the top layer. So you really want to use high quality papers if you're going to use a sand eraser. Now, this Strathmore color pencil paper should be good for that. It should, I mean, it's the 400 series. That's one of their highest series. Um, I think they have a series higher for certain things. Um, but this is the best they have for color pencil, it seems like. So, I have a sketch over here. I thought maybe doing kind of a cute pastel colored llama might be a good use of these because I don't really have any skin tones and I did flowers last time so I'm gonna sketch it with the yellow which will make me feel like I'm going blind I will say that these are a huge step up from the art alternatives uh, uh, watercolor pencils that were included in last month's box. I was actually excited when I saw these. I was insulted when I saw those. <laughs> so, you know, that seems like progress to me. Might be slight progress because we're still having problems. Still forgetting items. Still having typos on the information card. Now, those of, you who, those of you who started following me with last month's box, you might be wondering why this video is available when I haven't launched my Patreon yet. Well, that's exactly why this video is available. I haven't lost, launched my Patreon yet, and that's not, that's not y'all's fault, so I'm not going to withhold videos. That, there, that's it. I'm not going to withhold videos that aren't up because I didn't get the time to do the things I needed to do to to give you guys a way to pay me. That sounds really blunt and kind of gross. Uh, I actually had somebody actually comment that I was being gross. Actually, she used the word obnoxious uh, because I am new to YouTube and uh, I guess she didn't feel like I had a right to, to value my time. I, I know a lot of you guys are new to me, and uh, I'm excited about that. Hi guys! But I'm not new around here. I've been posting videos since like 2012. My significant other interviews artists at uh, anime and comic conventions. So if you are interested in becoming an illustrator, an animator, a comic artist, you should check those out because he does a great job and they're kind of underappreciated on this channel. And they're organized by convention. Our first, I think, started with Mocha Fest 2012 um, and he'll probably do some at uh, MTAC this year because I just found out I got a table. I'm finding it a little hard to layer these pencils. They're a little waxy. I'm gonna try to blend a little bit. See how that goes with the purple and the blue. Probably gonna have to do another layer of purple. There aren't, it's uh, difficult to use these, uh, I think, because um, there just isn't 
I mean, we're given a set of pastels, and then we're given like a hot, I was given a hot pink, a nice kind of muted shadow, and then this really lovely purple shadow. Um, but there's just not enough contrast. And I'll be right back. All right, so um, I had actually taken a dinner break because my hands were starting to get kind of shaky. So hopefully I can finish this. And I really only have kind of a loose plan for it because uh, I really don't use color pencils a whole lot. So, you know, I'm sort of learning as I go along. I use them a bit in undergrad, but not for anything all that original. And blended with the blender pen. Pretty much penciled right over where I was going to draw that bow. Now I got it. I'll find another place. That's the problem with doing it with yellow. I totally lost track of it. I don't really have any sort of inside knowledge when it comes to these sort of blind box subscription services, but maybe one of you guys do. When they're filling the boxes, um, is there anybody who, um, like when they're purchasing the supplies, is it just like a bulk order or do they buy like with, with something in mind? <laughs> because basically I'm thinking these are some these colors are actually kind of difficult to use together or maybe I'm just brain dead it's been kind of a long day and it sort of seems like they just grabbed a handful especially since I'm missing that eraser it definitely makes me think that somebody just grabbed and filled she looks a lot more like a dog than a llama now okay if things get kind of weird that's fine
funny alien thing now. I am finding these to be kind of difficult to use though. I feel like I have to press kind of hard to get them to make a dark enough mark. And they aren't as pigmented as the uh, Derwent Color Soft pencils. So not really a color pencil sort of artist. So maybe I just don't have a clue. I do find that they hurt my hands very quickly though. I tend to have kind of a, a overly tight grip. So that it could definitely be a contributing factor, but it's also why I don't really like using colored pencils very much. In fact, most of what I use colored pencils for is figure studies. And I pretty much just use uh, Prismacolors for those. It's a weird mama girl. Oh, see, that's where it said to make sure you you clean your pen because I didn't, and it picked up some of that pink, and I thought it wasn't going to. It didn't really seem like it had. Probably picking up some of that butter yellow too that I'd use to sketch my uh, do my initial sketch. And I'm sure those of you who are familiar with color pencils are shaking your heads and cringing. I apologize. If you do have any tips or hints for using these lovely, they are lovely color pencils, I'm just having a really hard time using them. Uh, I would appreciate hearing them because I feel kind of lost. And I'd always meant to, to like revisit, because the way I'd been taught involves um, building up layers and then spraying it with spray fixative and then putting another layer on top of it and spraying it with spray fixative. I'm also trying to, to try out each of the pencils, even if it's only a little bit. I guess I could have done an Undertale fan art with this, now that I think about it. instead of a weird llama thing. So that yellow I had used to sketch this with is definitely showing up. Like it's not, you can't really cover it. And I had tried to sketch lightly. I guess not lightly enough.
It's like a mama and a rabbit had a kid. I do have a larger set of Tombow uh, Ur Urujitin uh, color pencils, so don't please don't think this is a full review. This is just the the sketch box review challenge. Um, I'll be revisiting these color pencils a little bit later on, preferably after uh, I learn or remember how to use color pencils. And I'll see if I can't come up with something a little bit better during the month in this. Alright, so that is my sketch box illustration for February so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found these reviews helpful. Um, if you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like, uh, maybe left a comment. Consider contacting Sketchbox on my behalf and showing them my wonderful work. Um, and share it with your friends. If you enjoy videos like this, please check out last month, January's Sketchbox versus Art Snacks review. Um, and please keep watching, or I'm sorry, keep watching this channel for my February Art Snacks uh, challenge. So I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.